Hello everybody and welcome to the Enjoy Relax channel. Today we're going to have a look back at some of the things that we did in 2016, especially during our ride from London to Sardinia. And today's episode is going to be about San Marino, one of the countries that we passed through along the way. San Marino is a tiny country covering just 62 square kilometers and has a population of 33,000. Apparently, they have more vehicles than people there, but the roads are clear. Many of San Marino's 220 kilometers of roads are steep uphill or downhill with many curves, which will bring a smile to the faces of many motorcyclists. The main road we are traveling up now leads to the top of San Marino and to a castle. All along the way, you get to experience much of the statelet's old history. Now remember this roundabout, it is very easy riding uphill, but on the way down is something else. Once at the top, it is time to take some more pictures, but as time is limited since we have to catch the ferry to Sardinia, we can only make this a quick visit. San Marino attracts many tourists and the joyrides and cultural aspect and history add to the experience of riding up and down the little country. The modern art and sense of humor of this little country are expressed in this San Marino lizard, a fuselage converted into a reptile. Of course, as being located on a mountain, San Marino also offers spectacular views, which we capture with the panoramic picture capability of our rugged outdoor resistant mobile phone camera. As seen here during a nighttime shot I recently made in Salzburg, the panoramic mode requires you to pan in line with two arrows. These then ensure you get the best photograph possible, considering the many qualities and capabilities our rugged outdoor mobile phone also has to accommodate. At times these arrows and the preciseness required to follow them can be a bit challenging, but this detail ensures you end up with panoramic shots without too many light differences, as in these shots taken with another mobile phone some time back. Returning to the topic of San Marino, remember this roundabout we spoke of on the way up? My smarter than me partner later asked me why I did not just ride around the roundabout and then come off in a straight line, but I'm happy to accept any challenge. At a nearly 180 degree turn, it was one of the tightest curves and corners to manage, one for which I definitely deserved a San Marino badge on my motorcycle. If you're stuck in San Marino, pop into WRS Motorcycles to get everything you need to continue your journey. The link to their website is provided below this video. Join us in our next episode where we shall have a look at the dirt riding possibilities in central Italy. 